Okay, so <clears throat> we're back and uh, we've got to play around with the uh, Mini Hexapodino. We haven't done any custom programming yet. We've only used the samples that came with the kit. We've used the walking sample and we use the sonar sample. For this video, I'm going to show you what the sonar sample does. So basically, you're going to see the Mini Hexapodino do some stuff and uh, <clears throat> use the sonar, walk around and whatnot. Now we've been pretty impressed with how easy it was to get the software going considering you know we did have a little bit of trouble building the unit because there were so many servos and wires as you can see it just looks like a big cluster of wires but actually it's pretty straightforward once you set it all up so here we go i'm going to just go ahead and switch it on and you're going to see basically what the mini hexapodino is going to do back up. So I notice that there's something there. Now you can see this is a very basic demo. And it's going to continue to do this, sweeping every now and then with the sonar, moving back and forth. And that's about it. Now, you will notice that we're actually on a smooth surface here. So the uh, Hexapodino has a little bit of trouble walking because it's plastic on this nice smooth surface. But it really isn't too bad. We put it on flat on uh, carpet, we put it on tile, and it's been pretty good actually. Let's, uh, I'm going to take another shot here from the actual ground. So, you know, the same level as the mini Hexapodino. about it you'll notice how it sits right back down kind of the funny thing is, is that one of the things we notice about the kit you know you can go ahead and position these things the the actual legs in about any position and it'll just orient itself properly notice how all the legs are in a good position everything you can always hit the reset button which is just right in there Hit the reset button, forces it to reset itself. And it starts all over again. Turn it off, and the unit falls right back down. Now, that concludes this video. Um, I'll show you the next videos where we're actually going to be making some custom software. And we're going to have it do some stuff and actually walk around a bit more than what it was doing here. It wasn't walking too much. Uh, we plan to make one more video after that, which is basically remote controlling the unit with a PS2 type controller. Take care and see you next.